since I knew the shoe shoot was planned for the September issue, I had to back up, back up the shoot date to actually happen in June. So what I usually plan for is a couple of months out before the actual shoot month. So since we knew we were going to be shooting in June, I began planning the shoe, uh, shoot in about April, May. And it took between early May to the actual day of the shoot to get everything pulled together. And in the end, uh, one image actually made it to print. Photo shoot well, with the shoes. The art director for Pittsburgh Magazine, Chuck Beard, and I um, talked about how we wanted the image to actually end up looking in the magazine. So from that layout and discussing it with Chuck, he went ahead and hired the photographer, Heather Mall. This is the first time Heather and I actually worked together, and she's done a lot of work locally in Pittsburgh, but it was the first time we worked together, and it was really a lot of fun. Um, from direction from Chuck and myself, she knew that there was going to be a single shot, so I had provided her with the shoe that I wanted shot um, by itself, and she took about an hour and a half to set up the whole the whole scene for that shoe with um, a backdrop and with the positioning. The funny thing about the, the two-tone royal blue is that the, the, sh the lace gave the photographer, Heather, some difficulty because if she would shift over to the right a little bit to get a different angle, the laces weren't cooperating, so I had to really jump in there and really finagle the, the laces quite a bit. And um, at first we had them as bunny ears, and then that didn't work, and then I tried a few other things, and finally we just went with a twisted kind of look for the laces. But those are like the little details that, um, you know, give the length of the shoot and, and why a shoot can go as long as two to three hours, which is what this one did. And when you think about shooting shoes, you think, oh, it's simple, it's a shoe. But because of details like laces and embellishments, like zippers, um, you know, even the shadowing, that's what makes it the shoot kind of go go long and it can be kind of intense. But in the end, you end up with one shot and um, and you really, y you look back and you think, oh, that's pretty cool. We got what we wanted. <laughs>